Yo guys, what is going on? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys a broken one push comp now. Um, I didn't know too much about this comp until it was used in the World Cup a bunch, mainly by the Europeans. Um, it, they just rocked this comp. It works super well and every single time they got a bot, they were basically able to one push. If not, they left it at 10%. So we're going to do about six or seven games probably and we're going to see if we can one push every single time. So with that being said, let's hop into the games and let's get this going. Okay, so here we go into the first video, or into the first game, sorry, and we're going to be facing a Bull, a Primo, and a Barley. So just my immediate reaction of facing this is this is a super, super uh, hard comp to one push. Usually you uh, someone would go with like a thrower slash range, and then like a mid-tier, and then a tank, and what a tank would do basically is exactly what you'd think. It would just stand in front of the bot and basically destroy it very, very easily. So this is obviously going to be hard to one push since, that, since they have two two tanks and a thrower, but we'll see what we can do here. So the key is that I get super actually, and that the barley just destroys the safe. Now Kenneth has to stay alive. Uh, hopefully he, he does, but I'm gonna have to try and figure out a way to get super. This bull is playing super passive, but at least he's not on the on the uh, bot that's pushing up, so I guess that's good. And we're working towards getting our super here. We almost got it, but instead we went down in the... Um, Oh, maybe it's still one push? No. Okay, so we went down. We didn't do anything. Kenneth didn't do much, but we still got it to 2%. So just one BB ball up the middle or something like that. We're just going to walk in with our Rosa super and basically just, you know, walk in, try and do our best to end it. We tanked it. Nonetheless, Kenneth is able to finish it. So that's a pretty epic first game. Um, we basically did nothing. Literally, we only had a three bot push. So it was nothing strong or anything. Uh, the barley went down super quickly. And I didn't do much of the safe either. I didn't even pop my super. Yet we were still almost able to one push. Literally just 2% away. So let's hop into the next game. Hopefully we can actually get a one push going. Let's get it. And let's show you guys what this comp can do. Okay, so here we go into our next game. And we're going up against a Poco, a Jesse, and a Dinah. So now Dinah does really good DPS. And Jesse's actually pretty good on defense, but Poco not necessarily. So I think we definitely can get the one push over here. They have no tanks. And hopefully they don't play as passive as the last guys did. And already, just off the bat, we already almost have our super. We're probably going to be able to get a kill there. Nope, no kill. We're going to go down. But it doesn't matter. We already have bot and super. So now all we have to do is stay alive. You guys can see Alec is working it up there. But even if Alec goes down, the real damage on this comp is myself and Kenneth. So let's see what we can do here. Alec is just being a boss up there. Oh, he actually just got played. Wow. Alex is almost going to go down. He's not going to. And they got a turret over there. So basically what our job is, is to shield for the barley. So we're going to pop our shield right here. And the barley is just going to go in. Ideally, we use it a little bit later, but it didn't matter. We had a really good push and their defense wasn't up to par. So we're able to get an amazing one push. So you guys saw, we got star player. But either way, all we really did was pop a shield and tank for the barley. Now, when you have a max barley, each barley shot does roughly 6%. So if you can just tank for a long enough period of time for the barley, the barley can just wear down that Ike along with your robot. Um, you know yourself obviously and your third you can do a ton of damage the barley definitely is the key to this comp So we're gonna hop into the next game. We're gonna go for another one push Let's hop into it and let's see what we get. Okay, so here we go into the next game I didn't see exactly what comp the other team had so let's see as we're walking up over here Let's like they're gonna have okay double tank again uh, Daryl isn't as tanky though as like a bull or a primo or even a rosa So this won't sh shouldn't be too much of an issue Alex gonna get the kill over there, but I don't know if we're gonna get first bot. I don't think Alec or Kenneth have it. Okay. There's one bolt Um, it might be a tie No, okay, so we have a two siege bot. So that's the second that's that's pretty low You don't normally get a bot with only two so we're gonna have to make the best out of our barley basically over here and protect that as much as we can so we're gonna move up they're tanking it really well as they have the double tank, but we're going to go all out anyways. Going to run up to it, waiting for this bot to go down. And as soon as it does, we're going to pop our super now and we're going to go in. The barley does its job and that again is a one push. So the ideal scenario over here is as soon as your bot goes down, you pop your Rosa super and you act as basically a second bot, which is just a tank unit to produce for the barley. You guys saw Kenneth got the star. So it's another one push that we got under our belt. Let's go into the next game and let's see if we can do it again. Okay, into the next game, they have Tick, Penny, and BB, so they have really good mid control, but if we can get the first bot, we should easily have this win. The only thing that's good on defense for them would be a Penny turret, but there we go. We already get the first uh, bolt. It looks like Alec is probably going to get the second one. We're going to make a sharp turn over here and go towards the Penny. Okay, we're able to get the kill. Probably a third of a second later in that Penny would have gotten the kill, so, so that was pretty timely. 
So let's see what we got over here. So Kenneth is going to go down. He's going to use his super, but that's fine. Again, we have to figure out a way here to get our super. We're going to get knocked back over here, but we're just one shot from it. There we go. We're able to pick it up. And they're doing actually a really good job on defense. Again, our job is basically to have Kenneth go up. And we're going to tank it for him. We're going to take this out. We're going to let the bot do its work. We're going to go around so we can regain some health. We're going to chip away. And now we're going to activate our shield. Kenneth is going to go out. But either way, I think we got it. We do. Again, it just it's just a rotation. The only reason I'm playing Rosa is because the Rosa is the key to this comp. BB just does normal BB things. Barley basically just holds lane and shoots the safe. But the timing for the Rosa super is really what matters with this comp. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. So we're 4 for 4 basically on 1 pushes besides you know leaving 1 at 2%. And, but we didn't really need a bot, we just walked in and finished it after. Let's hop into the fifth game and let's do the exact same thing. Okay, so here we go into the fifth game here. We're going to be going up against a bull, a BB, and a Sandy. So this is going to be a true test to see what we can really do. It's going to be hard to get the first bot as is, to be honest. <clears throat> Since they do probably have the most broken siege comp on this map. We're going to go for some shots over there. We weren't able to get it, but hopefully we can get some bolts. We're able to pick up the second bull. RJ is doing a fantastic job on that right side. We're going to be able, or we're going to have to get this middle bull, but Alec is going to be able to get it. So that's really, really good. <clears throat> and sorry for that. <laughs> and that's going to be a tie. So probably we're going to be able to one push either way because we're going to get this middle one. Um, it's going to be a little bit tough though, but we can see what we can do. We're going to be able to pick up the kill over there on the BB. Going to try and get this bull now. We're going to be able to pop that kill. We're going to pop our super, be able to take that out. We wouldn't have been able to take out the Sandy if we didn't pop our super. So that was, again, a really good kill. We're doing really good right now. We're, able, we're doing just fantastic at holding the mid. Let's see. Alec is going to use his super over there. He's going to go down, but that's fine. I'm going to pop my super. The bull thought it was the only one with a shield, but indeed it was not. Uh, we're going to get knocked back. We're probably going to die. Ooh, we stayed alive. Okay, never mind. We definitely have enough uh, bolts to get a one push going. As you guys saw, we did a one push with only two. We have our super here. Again, it's super important that Kenneth and I don't die before this push starts. Can you get some shots over there off? Good job over there by Alec. Alec might go down. He's playing a dangerous game running around in that uh, Sandy super. But anyways, they're pretty low as a unit right now. Kenneth is going to use a super 27% already only on our bot. So this is looking pretty grim, but either way, we pop our super, we go in, and again, just another one push. Now, I know it wasn't the first bot one push, but either way, that's still a one push. We managed to get star player, and we're grinding like crazy. Again, um, we faced a really, really good comp. You guys can see their Sandy was almost 1,000 trophies. So we definitely are just steamrolling this. The comp is just absolutely amazing. So again, let's hop into the next game. We're going to go for another one push. Let's hop into it. Okay, so here we go into the next game. Uh, we're going to be going up against, okay, so this is actually a really defensive comp because they have two turrets in the Jesse and the B, or the Jesse and the Penny, and then they have a Bull, another defensive unit. So this one actually might be a pretty tough game to one push, but let's see what we can do. Essentially, we've been able to do it every time, uh, no matter what comp we face, so I don't see why we can't do it again. It's just the whole root of this, even though they have a super defensive comp, just the more amount of time you try and stop a push, you just wear down on your HP. And I mean, I just don't think there's a way that they could stop this if we do it properly. So we're going to be able to pick up a kill over there, us and Kenneth. Our goal is to stay alive, of course. Doing our best to do so right now, but it looks like we will be able to, be able to pretty easily stay alive. Alex doing a bit of tanking right now. They're all on the left side. Alec is going to go down, so it's not the greatest start in the world. But we're going to be on the safe right now, doing our best. We have the barley on it. We're going to pop our super over there. And again, super easy. Another one push. We're going to do one more game. And I mean, this has just been unbelievable. You guys can see the true power of this composition that we are running on Siege. So let's hop into the next game and let's see if we can get another one push. Okay, straight into the next game. This is actually really fast matchmaking. And we're facing a pretty decent comp when it comes to defense, but really good when it comes to the middle ground. So let's see what we can do here. Obviously going to try and bait out that BB shot to start off. That's what you want to do against every single BB. Even if this BB hits us again, it's not really going to do anything. Uh, so we're doing really good. Alit's actually a really, really good player. Uh, are they going to be able to tie it? I don't think so. It's okay if we die here as long as we get our super. So I kind of just went up and died kind of purposely. Now if Kenneth goes down, which he just did, that's going to be an issue for the one push. Especially considering we only have a power 2 robot. So we're going to move up, but this is definitely going to be the toughest one push we've had yet. We're going to move up. I think Kenneth just went AFK. So that basically ends our chance at the one push. Okay, there we go. He's back. Uh, we're going to go for it either way. 
screw it. We're going to go in, try to do as much as we can, but I don't think we committed properly. And they just had really good defense. Kenneth going AFK, us dying it on opportune times. Wasn't really very good for us. So anyways, we're down 4-0 in bolts. We're actually going to have to play some form of defense here for the first time in the video. We're going to go right up to a lit. We're going to be able to get that kill pretty easily. Kind of just walked up and spammed our shots. But basically at this point, we're just trying to co collect as many bolts as we can for the next round. So it looks like we're going to have five for the next round. So as long as we can defend this properly, we should be fine. Myself and Alec are going to catch this bot super, super early and do a ton of damage just right up here. I'm going to purposely die, which is a strategy. If I purposely die and tank the bot, you guys can see it's already at 50%. And I'm going to spawn again immune and just do the same thing, stand in front of this bot and tank for it as much as we can. You guys can see really, really good defense on our part. Now this is going to be tough since Alit is such a good player with the Rico and we're basically just at his mercy at that point. So Alec having all that HP with the shield is probably going to be able to clutch us up this game. We're going to be able to see soon. But it looks like he's running around getting these bolts. We're going to be going for this one over here which we should be able to cash in. And I think if we do that guarantees us the win. Uh, yeah, it should have guaranteed us the win. So we're going to use our super over here. We're going to be close to getting it back but we just wanted to make sure we got that bolt. We're going to be able to go for the kill on a lit over here. We're going to get it, surviving at one bullet left. We have our super, so there's no way we're not beating this bot. I mean, they're like on this push over here, so we're going to go in. Oh, we're going to back up, actually. Almost went down. Kenneth, Kenneth is spinning. Everyone at this point is spinning. We're going to pop our super anyways. Go in because we want to get that one push. And there you have it. So that's going to end the video over there. Definitely a really informative video and you guys should learn a lot from this comp definitely just literally pick up these three brawlers Go into a ladder game on nuts and bolts and just start ripping it because I can guarantee you guys will gain some trophies Anyways, huge shout out to Ray because Ray's actually editing this video. So thank you Ray He's probably seeing this for the first time. But anyways, thank you so much Ray for uh, For editing this does mean a lot that you always are there to help me and thank you, you know to Toma, I guess, for always being a, a young god and editing all the videos besides today. But anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's a definitely a very informative um, type of video that I like to do. Anyways, I'm thinking about doing a brawler guide. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys like brawler guides or mode guides more. I'll do one or the other, whichever one you guys prefer. But they do take a lot of time, so it's kind of hard to do both. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That is going to be it for the video. Thank you so much to Ray again for editing. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.